Africa, the world's second largest and most populous continent with 1.1 billion people, is rapidly beginning to realize its true economic potential. But with development challenges continuing, more emphasis is being placed on the role Africa's vibrant private sector can play to ensure this growth is inclusive. Africa's economies are developing at a remarkable pace, making the continent home to seven of the world's fastest growing economies. With abundant resources, an emerging middle class and a young population, Africa is seen as a continent of opportunities and is embarking on a promising development journey. But the success of this journey relies on the private sector's ability to move millions out of poverty and into productive activity. Considering the critical role of the private sector for inclusive, sustainable development, the African Union Commission organized the seventh African Private Sector Forum under the theme Promoting Africa's Private Sector for Inclusive Growth and Development, exploring innovative mechanism of funding in Nairobi, Kenya, an annual forum that has become a key instrument of interface and partnership between the African Union, policymakers and the private sector. Inclusive growth is primarily targeting at how you bring in, particularly the youth and women, into your production models. The first thing that we need to do, particularly for the youth, if you look at the, the youth that are under 25 or 30 years, many of them don't have skills. This is one major priority of the continent for us to bridge those gaps. Africa is growing fast but it's not creating the jobs that its growing population needs. 90% of jobs are created by the private sector, so it's, it's to the private sector that we turn to make growth inclusive. So we want to work much more with the private sector and we want them to work much more with us in order to generate the jobs that Africa needs in the future to sustain its, its growth and its growing population. To me, the biggest thing as we sit here and we discussed how we can make a better Africa is respect and recognition. Respect for the people we've got, respect for the organizations we've got, and in that way to give them the recognition that they deserve and the support that they need. Aware of the challenges that lie ahead for the continent, the African Union Commission and the European Commission jointly organized within the framework of the 7th African Private Sector Forum, the second EU Africa Business Forum follow-up workshop. This forum is uh, very important in that it gives us opportunity to think back of the commitments we made in April uh, during the 5th EU and Africa Business Forum where a number of commitments were arrived at. There are people who are here today who are not with us in Brussels. So they got to know firsthand what it is that we made a commitment to as EU and Africa to implement. And they also got to know the progress which has been made in the various areas. So th this forum creates momentum. And I will leave here with a number of things that I think we can do as, as European Union to reinforce our partnership with Africa and in particular with the with the private sector. The importance of this forum is uh, to be able to focus on what is it that is still holding back the private sector from growing further. For the first time, we've seen the public sector and the private sector coming together, talking about real issues relevant to the continent, from innovation to competitiveness to technology to bioenergy, a strong focus on bioenergy, the bioenergy uh, sector. In the frame of this forum, the launch of the new partnership for Africa's development agency, Africa's sustainable energy incubator platform, GenHub, also took place. The platform, which is a NEPAD agency initiative in collaboration with the ACP Business Climate Facility BizClim, aims to fast-track African sustainable energy development projects in order to bring to an end the harsh reality that over 600 million people in Africa still have no access to energy. You need energy for any socio-economic development. There is no industry which can run without energy. So energy is a fundamental request for economic and social development in Africa. Africa has got 
abundant resource of energy. So this gap is not because we do not have resources. The resources are many, but their exploitation, utilization on sustainable ground is a problem. So the major challenge which we are facing at present, how to develop projects into bankability. Part of the answer to this major challenge may lie in the NEDPAD GenHub incubation project. The incubator platform is, uh, is designed as a meeting point between knowledge for developers and the investment community. It's a web-based uh, platform and it's really a tool that has been piloted by, for NIPAD to test out the ability to uh, support the development of business planning in the energy sector for sustainable energy projects in Africa. One of the projects that received support from GenHub's platform was Alan Marega's renewable energy project that turns agricultural plant waste into briquettes as a charcoal and wood fuel alternative for rural African communities. SME energy projects like Allen's often lack dynamic investors that can help accelerate the expansion of affordable and sustainable projects. But this initiative is creating opportunities and trying to curb the problem by bringing together developers and investors. Without a forum like this, it would be hard for some of these investors to know about projects uh, that are available in Kenya or around Africa and, and there are many, there are many innovative, uh, very progressive uh, projects uh, that you may not find in some European or North American uh, countries. So it's, I think it's, it's, it's very good in that sense. Our fund invests in clean energy, as I mentioned, but also in healthcare, in education, in housing. And uh, we believe that in all those sectors there are tremendous opportunities, uh, particularly on the SME side, because we believe SMEs and the size of SMEs fits the size of Africa at this point. So in those sectors that I just mentioned, we believe there's a tremendous potential. And as a prof professional financier, we believe that's worth the while doing. It is important for the investment community and for the lending community to keep pace with the uh, evolution of the sector. The energy sector in the last 20 years has changed so dramatically, so quickly. Now you have a huge influx of investors, smaller companies, smaller entrepreneurs uh, who want to deliver, deliver smaller projects and technologies. I would say um, first start by referring to it as Africa and look at each country on its own merits. Um, and within each country, look, look at each sector and its own merits. I'd look at a country on its merits and demerits, structure the risk away and have a go, it's fun. The seventh annual private sector forum ended positively, leaving participants with clear objectives of what still needs to be done for Africa to continue on its own growth path. Africa's poised to become a global economic powerhouse in line with the African Union's vision of an integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa, driven by its own citizens and representing a dynamic force in the global arena, echoing further the voices of millions of Africans who want to build and become the Africa of tomorrow. <laughs>